What's up everybody, Negative Motion here, and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get emulators like NDS for iOS and GBA for iOS onto your iDevice. This works for iOS 10, the most recent edition, and yeah, so let's get right into it. Uh, so you're going to need to download Cydia Impactor, that's the one piece of software you're going to need. Uh, as you can see it has Mac, Windows, and Linux. I have it downloaded already, uh, as you can see. So. Um, I won't be showing it, but it's pretty straightforward. Anyways, uh, so next you're going to want to go to iEmulators. Now, iEmulators.com is going to be where you're going to get the IPA for the uh, emulators. Okay, so once you're on uh, iEmulators, uh, so go to Apps, and then scroll all the way down uh, where it says IPA page. As you can see, these are just these apps uh, are just if you want to download right onto your iOS device. They don't work very well all the time though, so it's better to use the IPA. Anyways, uh, so tap on the IPA by uh, download. So like, if you want to see again, go onto the IPA page and then go down. And as you can see, these are all the IPAs you can download, and then sign right onto your device. I'm going to be displaying INDS for iOS, developed by uh, Will Cobb, uh, who also developed one of the popular Pokemon Go hacks. Anyways, uh, tap download, and your download should take less than 10 seconds. Less than 5 seconds. Anyways, it's a really small file, so it shouldn't take long, and if it does, just restart the download. Uh, next, you'll want to go to. I am running um, Mac OS X Sierra, so it does work on this. So then go into Cydia Impactor, uh, find the IPA file. So plug in your device now using the Lightning cable, the Lightning USB cable. Plug it in right now so that uh, it'll show up where there's that blank space it should show your iPhone's information. So as you can see I just plugged mine in. So iTunes just loaded up. Uh, oops, okay. Uh, yeah. Anyways, so as you see uh, there's the device. So now what you'll want to do is get the IPA file and you'll have to drag it onto there. So if you go into Finder and Downloads, which is where most likely you got it is uh, drag it onto anywhere on the city impactor uh, and then sign in to your Apple ID now you can use any of them doesn't really matter you don't have to be a developer for this but and this is just so it signs the IPA as an actual app okay so as you can see I just downloaded now make sure your iPhone isn't on, isn't sleeping, so like it doesn't have the black screen. It is on and running. That's the only way this will work. And okay, so uh, once it's finished downloading, I'm going to show you on my iPhone how to get the actual ROMs for it. Make sure you own the ROMs and all that stuff, so it's, you're not doing anything legal. And yeah, see you there. Okay guys, so as you can see, we're on my iPhone, and now as you can see, it's an untrusted developer, so uh, scroll to settings. I'm running the Gold Master Edition as well, just to quickly show you. Um, let's go to about, and as you can see, there it is, uh, okay, so let's go back to settings. Uh, well, we had to go to profile and device management anyways. As you can see, there's me. Uh, trust. Trust. Okay. Um, let's get Okay, so once it's loaded up, it won't take that much time. Go on to love rooms. Okay, so it automatically goes the pop-ups are terrible so you might 
until we go on to it again. Okay, so let's not this one. Let's say I want to install Mario Kart DS. Scroll down to download. Your ROM is downloading. Wait until that happens. Okay, so now as you can see it says it's downloading and you can see the percentage it's opening it up right now pretty okay there we go so now we've got it and if you click launch normally 